Hello! So today we are going to do another delicious and healthy dish. Just this time we are going to use the recipe. Not my imagination or experimentation, but a very nice recipe which I actually tried before and I'm gonna show it to you. It's really simple to do. You can find it in the description of the video. To begin with, you'll have to boil the broccoli or you can use a cauliflower, but I have a broccoli in this case, and some pumpkin. So let's prepare them, let's boil them, and we will continue with other things once these are boiled. We have a couple of broccoli, so packed. And we can cut the bottom part because it's not... Well, actually I haven't tried, maybe it's eatable, but I'm not sure about that. Let's make it smaller a little bit so we could fit both heads nicely into the pot. Mess is a mess, but you can't change that. And we will boil the pumpkin. Prepare it as well. Cutting board so it would be easier to cut it. Bigger knife will be easier to cut the pumpkin. Okay, we have kind of full pot. Surely we can there is a little bit more space in here, but okay, let's add one more. Okay, full pot. This is how much it will be enough for us. This will be for the next time for some other dish. Great, so now let's wait until these are boiled and then we will continue with the recipe to the next steps. Okay, looks like it's already boiled enough. How to check if it's boiled enough or not? Just take a knife. Well, sharp, not doesn't really matter, and try to stick or some fork or any other thing. If it sticks easily, then it means it's already boiled as it should be. So this one is finished, we can turn that off. Now this pot has a different lid and that is hot. So let's check this one. Okay, actually put these parts as well and uh, I think I will have to leave this, this away because they are quite hard but everything else it's totally boiled and what I like to do when doing dishes like this from the recipe is to put all the ingredients I will need here or on the table that I would not miss anything in the process. So let's do that. Bacon. Mushrooms. This is addition to the dish, but well, I have some left, left, so I need to use them as well. Onion, coconut cream, smoked paprika, nutmeg. Ground it as well. Yes, and let's see if we have any, everything checked. Oh, chicken stock. This one is not a very good one because it has sugar and other added additives but unfortunately I don't have anything else now so well I'll use smaller piece of it. So we are missing team. Um, I used it last time it didn't left me a very good opinion about it so I decided not to use it. 
Okay, actually I have some tin. It's not fresh, but it will be just fine. Parsley, I don't have it, but as it for the garnish, I will use basilic for that. So it should be good to go as well. And we will start with bacon because we have to fry it. So let's cut some parts of the bacon. Of course, we can make it bigger. It's quite salty, so that's why it will be just fine in our dish. How much do we need? As we'll have some mushrooms, we don't need a lot of bacon. Cut in smaller parts. Let's make a cubes and we have to bake it. So let's move this pot away. Let's take the frying pan. Let's place it here. And we can put it to the frying pan to, to start baking. Next is onion. Let's peel it off. Like I said, recipe says red onion. Well, I have only white onion, so I'm gonna use it. If you want to make it simple, well, you can change some ingredients. So we will use this machine to do the cutting. So this is how fast you can cut the onions. We have to be fast. And now we're gonna cut the mushrooms. Done. Mushrooms is cut. Bacon is well actually burned a little bit. So let's take the main blade. And here are some leftovers. You have to be careful with these blades because it's really sharp. Not to cut your fingers. This quite easily. Otherwise not so easily. Very strange. Now let's mix everything up. And now only sauce is left, so we don't need to bake it. We can turn the heat off. I think it might be possible to eat even like this without the sauce, but to be honest, the sauce is really good and important for this dish and it adds some additional flavor. So I really recommend you to do it. So let's take the blender and my GoPro is not working anymore. And let's put all the pumpkin inside the blender. Now it depends what blender you have. If you have a plastic jar, it might be not so good to put the hot pieces of, let's see, no, not that one, of a pumpkin or some any other baked goods. But if you have a glass one like I do, then it's fine. Yes. Now, smoked paprika, nutmeg, timus as well. And the most important ingredient, coconut cream. And let's add half of this pack. Let's try to wait it. 152. How much is the full one? As I have some in here. 260, 152. So we can add a little bit more. Blend it. You don't need it to blend it a lot or for a long time as Everything is hot, just a little bit. I could eat this cream alone. Mmm, so good. 
this is what nutmeg and chicken stock does and coconut cream does to this one mm, so good and the next thing you have to do is to pour this cream over our broccoli in this case over everything that we have prepared you might probably already know that as for a blender it's best to clean it right away this is it our dish is ready let's taste it broccoli mm, really good and that sauce mm, just perfect nowadays one of my favorite dish because it's quite simple simple to make well there will be some cleaning left of course mushrooms was an addition to this dish because i had them and i i don't like to waste the food uh, i wanted to use it so that's why i added that added a little bit more cutting but if you cut bacon and onion by knife it will be fine there won't be much cutting just two pots and basically that's all so thank you for watching i hope this was useful i hope you will try to make such dish simple yet healthy dish as well by yourself and you can find the recipe in the comments in the description field below thank you for watching and see you next time cheers